no idea where in the repair series this will make it but uh, this little uh, m5 bolt is what held the rpm reader for the magnets and it went in here and if you recall these these three these other two um, didn't really have uh, a bolt associated with them uh, these three did and these were much smaller uh, than the diameter of this because uh, this bolt uh, these bolts would not fit in any of these holes so what was suggested and i thought mm, i was going down this path was you know maybe pressing a getting a longer bolt and i won't do this live but getting a longer bolt and then just doing each one of them uh, and maybe that releases or pushes this ring out don't know but our uh, folks at Viver got back to me so yesterday I sent them an email saying how do I remove these rings and this morning uh, I had the uh, we're checking with our technical support please uh, uh, expect a response within 72 hours which getting worse but uh, still the communications going so maybe I'll go down this path and see if that does something because these have to come out they, they just have to so you can see the paint ring I'm taking it nice and slow half turns on each and uh, looks like there's progress maybe all of these stay together because you know I was thinking each of these come out so I was kind of uh, you know spraying and you can see where the WD-40 ate away the paint, thinking that uh, this main thing, uh, you know, it's in pieces. So, uh, this is off. And uh, I'm not sure what's in store for me, but uh, more to come. So, this is out. But now we're kind of at a now what stage, because... I don't know if you can see that. It looks just like a bunch of uh, electronics. And I can't see if there's like rings locking anything in. And I don't know how I would get in there to do anything with those electronics. Another email to our friends at Viver.